so what do you do on an overcast day like this when you're not getting much sun into these but before that let's see what the panels are putting out without the branch connector thingy i'm i am check it out so i'll show you a couple readings you can see that this power station is getting about half an amp and this one is getting something similar granted it's not in a good space so let's go change that we're gonna put this one back up there it's a little windy though so i may not do that i may just sit it kind of like somewhere right here and then we'll get a new measurement oh, still pretty bad i wonder if that one is full let's go check it it's actually pretty close to being full. That could be why it's not pulling any significant amount of power. Well, you can see that this one is pulling about, it's pulling about half an amp. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both of these on the branch connectors and plug it directly into this one right here. Also, make sure you watch to the end for my closing thoughts on this um, branch connector. Let's get this one out of the way. Fail. Hey, might as well light the scene from the dip, right? So it's still not charging. Let's see what the reading says. So I'm not getting anything from these. I wonder why. Let's go outside and investigate. Yeah, this panel on its own is not producing anything. So it's not even pulling half a watt anymore. Clouds are a lot darker. It's not it's not just overcast anymore. And so on this rainy day, I'm not really getting anything. I mean both of these are pulling a quarter uh, you know of a watt an amp. So you should be at least pulling half. I feel like half an amp should definitely be charging this. All right, you can see I'm pulling a little something. I'll take that. On days like this, I usually consider it a wash that I'm not gonna get much solar power through these panels because it's overcast. And you know, I've kind of accepted that. I just got panels this summer. I'm getting into the winter months, which is gonna be overcast a lot. So I played around with this idea of like, man, if I can get half an amp or point, you know, three quarters of an amp and sometimes a full amp, then I'll do that because I want that solar power. And actually stay tuned for another update from another overcast day, which is more like what I would normally be getting for the panel. So here's another overcast day. This is what it looks like. This is how my panels are situated right here and right here. Yeah, I mean, you know, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> So let's get a reading. So that's almost an amp. That's like probably about 12 watts of power. Okay, here's another update. I'm getting 1.8 and I'll show you the sky right now. So you can see it's really bright. The sun's kind of peeking through right there. I could probably eke out a few more um, whatever milliamps <laughs> if i tilted this up but you know i'm okay yeah, let's do it anyway let's tilt it anyway more i noticed that in these low light situations the um rating doesn't typically jump much from tilting and repositioning panels so even that little bit of cloud cover just dropped it down to 1.5 so you know, it's a fluid situation. Some power is better than none. I'll take that every step of the, the way as it relates to solar, man. I just, I'm, I'm into it. So I follow. 